Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is time to rock and roll game day, opening day, dove season. It is right now. Me and LFD are going dove hunting out in a sunflower seed field. We're taking some classic shotguns with us and we're going to see if we can put some birds down and of course clean them and uh, we're going to put them in our bellies. So that's the best part about dove hunting. So let's go see how the birds are flying in the field today. Sun is coming up behind me. It's a little cool this morning. I'm just digging it. There's dove weed all over the ground. What me and dad are doing is he's setting up on one corner of the field. I'm setting up on another and there's probably a good dozen other guys out here. They're going to the other side and we're on we're on this other one. I don't know if that's good or bad. No one really knows because we haven't started seeing the birds fly yet. The legal shooting hours are 30 minutes before the sun rises and 30 minutes after. To be honest with you, couldn't even see 30 minutes before the sun came up. So we're well beyond shooting light now, or shooting hours, but it's just now getting light enough where you can see. Getting ready for my elk trip, I would love to have some dove meat to take with me and just you know cook some up on opening day. And I'm using the shotgun that my dad gave me last year, which is, uh, a really old gun so see how it shoots but getting in the position here hopefully we'll get some doves on the ground shortly I suck so bad. I suck so bad at shooting, but it's just fun. Two more just flew over. Actually, I think those are field larks. So there's three different species of doves, three main ones uh, that we could encounter. There's a uh, Eurasian, there's a white winged, and then there is a morning dove, which is the most common. There's also a white tipped, which you're only allowed two if you're hunting in Texas. And your limit is 15 birds. I've got a lot of shells. Me and dad got two cases. So, we just need the birds to show up now. Come on. Come on now. Start raining nuggets. Let's do it. Oh, one just passed me. One just passed me right there. That's a good sign. Oh, there's another one flying over the field there. Might get some action over here. That was basically just a warning shot. Just letting them, letting them know I'm here. These birds are flying high today. Here's one. There's another one coming. Flying slow and high over my dad. Hopefully he gets it. There's another three. Man, they are high. Way up there. There's a lot of bird activity coming over these trees. Into my zone, they're just high. Oh, we might have some customers here. Nope. Mockingbirds, it is a beautiful morning. You cannot deny that. Oh, okay, first shot of the day. Believe we got one down here somewhere. Gosh, it's gonna be hard to see. Oh, okay, first bird of the day. And it looks like we got a morning dove. Another one flew right over me. Man, I smoked him. Didn't have my GoPro rolling, unfortunately. Taking two shots, and they've both been long. This isn't a bad area that I'm in. There's a bunch of hunters over here, and they're blasting a bunch. And they're, I'm, we're kind of getting the stragglers coming this way. I need to know where my dad is, though, so I know where to shoot. Hey, uh, where are you? You by the trucks? I'm walking, too. I, I got a bird. I know. Well, I, I lost a bird. I kept going back and forth. You all right? Yes, sir. Still part of the property, right? Yeah. The tanks. Over there. Yeah. You have your hunter road with you? Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. yeah, I just got it renewed. Actually, I had it and I lost my wallet. Yeah. And uh, they couldn't re identify, so I had to redo it. What is that? It says Hunter Ed required on my license. Yeah. Is that because, because I was reading it said before 93 or after 93 you had to have it? 
if you're uh, born. No, but it's voter education. Hunter Ed is uh, September 2nd of 71. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Hey there. Hi. I'm going to move out. You see where those two are flying? Or they're coming into uh, land? Yeah, yeah, so, I, yeah so. Okay, I'm where you just shot at. I'm going to move back towards that area. And two just flew right over. Oh. <laughs> my uh my last shell didn't didn't reload so i don't know what was going on there totally missed those birds so i'm gonna move up just a little bit where those birds just flew over because i've seen oh. so that way we can kind of split it up a little bit cool well i will uh i will head over there good hunt okay, I, know where, I know i know where you are now i'll, I'll uh, holler at you about three birds okay all right, yeah, see ya. Team strategy. All right, we just got set up again. Actually just got checked by the game warden. He was super nice, really good. Um, I asked him a couple questions. So one of the things he asked me for was my hunter's ed, which luckily I had just redone because I lost my wallet like six months ago and I lost that hunter's ed card that I'd had since I was a kid. He asked for it, he, re he required it. So luckily I had just redone it, like in the last month. I think he said, if you're born after 71, you have to have it. Just make sure, and it'll say when you get a, a license, when you get a license in Texas, that um, it says Hunter's Ed required. I just did it online, it took me like an hour to do. You can do it, um, I'll actually leave a link down below if you haven't done it. Required out of state too, like a lot of states, if you're going bow hunting or any kind of hunting, uh, they'll ask for that in certain states. It's important to have. It's good to just know as well. But so far we got one morning dove and uh, that's it. Actually, Game Warden pointed out two doves that were flying over me at the side, like right as he was walking up. We both squatted down. He was like, Whoosh. but it's kind of weird. You know, I'm going to be blasting shots. It's like, hey, here's my license. Bam, bam. My dad is over here about 100 yards away. And I've seen quite a bit of activity. Um, in this area, so I'm just gonna kind of keep a low profile and try to pick up some of these. There's one right there, actually. Okay, here comes four of them. They're gonna come right over the spot. Come on. Dang it, they turned. I cannot believe that. Coming back. They are looking for a spot to land. They like this spot. They wanna land here. I don't know if they can see me or what, but they wanna land here. Oh gosh, here's one right here. Gonna come right over me. Here we go. That's terrible. That's terrible shooting right there. Oh my God. That's terrible. Supporting the uh, the sales of dove shot out here in the fields. My gosh, that big group's still circling. My dad's probably texting me saying I suck. Yeah, ha ha ha, that's what he said. <laughs> Just gonna text my dad back say uh well how many do you have at least i got one dad just turned 60. no i'm not even sure you can see out here right now there's a little father-son competition you know what i'm saying it's like old bull versus the young bull oh there's another one right there come on now baby dang it i might need to move a little bit farther out there's some that just keep flying just beyond my shooting range i don't even know what my shooting range is pretty much point blank, but there are ways out there. Big group, real big group, circling. There's probably a dozen of them. Ready to just unleash, unleash the fury. Dang, me and my dad both missed him. Long shot right here. Yeah. Can't do that one. I can do this one though. Got him. Okay, I need to eye that bird down. Boy, that's gonna be a toughie. Right in the middle of the sunflowers. Really hard to take your eyes off. You'll just lose where the bird goes down. This is where you need a good dog. Where are you at, bird? Oh, here's a big group. Oh. I think they saw me.
man, I'm doing terrible on my GoPro today. These birds are popping up, cracking them. There's one deep in here. I just, just shot him down. Like I know a thousand percent he's in here. There he is. Oh my gosh. This is going to be hard, y'all. <sighs> okay, that's bird number three. Actually, four for me. I have two that I'm trying to find right now. Oh my gosh, I need a bird dog real bad. Okay, my camera equipment's right there. Don't forget that. Got him. Wounded him. Busted his tail feathers. Look, the tail feathers are literally falling down out of the sky. Right here. God, this is not the time to be looking for a bird. These birds are coming back. I'm gonna get another shot at them. Ah, no, they turned out. They turned away. Gosh dang, I got a bird down here somewhere. Like down, down. And then I've got another one that could be on the ground running. And I just shot another one in the tail. Oh man, come on. You're gonna fly right over the spot I was just at. One of them I shot came off the ground like a quail. I was walking back out that way and then they popped up and it went right in the middle of one of these. High flyer breaking off way high. Oh, you got him, dad. Watch that bird down. Hell of a shot, man. He was a B2 bomber up there. He got lucky. I see him, or maybe that's a rock. See a white breasted thing. Oh, the old high flyer. Dad got a white wing. Nice job. There you go. Shot him in the stratosphere. <laughs> you did. How many shotgun lengths did you lead him? Uh, it's about a foot. A, f a yeah. foot? You didn't lead him a whole shotgun length from that distance? No, uh, from a, about that much. That's it? Yeah. Wow. Okay, there's my camera gear. This is a good area. Why don't you yeah. stick put here? I think I've got three in my pouch got four birds down ironically I found the bird that I wounded and it went down he was like still alive running around in the sunflower seeds once they go down and they're, they're alive they can hide for days but the one that I just nailed and folded up he's in one of these thickets behind me 50 yards or so I've watched him down and I've walked by there probably eight times now and I can't find them. Birds are, they're kind of just flying every 10 minutes or so. We'll see a small group and gotta make every shot count as dad just did. You know, I've missed half of them, probably more than half the shots that I've taken, but I got a few, got enough for a little meal. Not bad, coming back. Coming back behind you. Okay, one more down. I've got another one here somewhere. Is that pup ready to find one or what? Oh, God, butt slapped him. Oh, here we go. Get ready, Dad, behind you. Behind you, up top. Right over you. Nice. Yeah, LFD. I'm right, Tex. Nice. Get him, Tex. Hang on to him. There you go. Hang on to it. There you go. There you go, buddy. Good boy, go. good boy. Drop it. Good boy. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Tex. Sit. Sit. The future bird dog in training here. Good. Ryan's dog. The action has tapered down. Just little onesies, twosies flying every like 30 minutes or so, and it is hot. I think we're gonna take it to the house, y'all. Pretty sure dad beat me on the amount of birds. There's still one out there that I couldn't find. I've looked and looked and looked. I can't find it. And my buddy Ryan, that owns this place. He came out here, helped us find a couple with his new dog, Tex, which really helped out a lot. But I want to say we have 10 or so, which is perfect for an afternoon meal. If you've never cleaned a dove, we're about to go show you how to. And man, let me just say, doing this with my dad, I know this is one of his favorite things to do. Like we go fishing a lot, but something about bird season, you know, my dad collects old shotguns. He grew up on a farm, grew up doing it. So special times right here special day in the memory banks wow just had a huge group fly over me uh while i was talking about my dad <sighs> thanks dad i love you though let's go clean some birds i think we got 10 or 11. Got 
five birds in my vest. So I guess we got 10. Back at the crib, getting ready to clean them up. No, we, lo we lost a couple birds, literally lost them. And I think we ended up with nine, nine or 10. Towards the end there, my, uh, I went through a box of shells, which is 25. And then when I switched over to new shells, my shotgun quit cycling. I need to make some adjustments here on the, on the spring. It has to do with the pressure. This is literally the first time I've used this shotgun. Uh, I kind of did a review on it last, uh, it was like last winter is when I got it. And this is my first time actually taking it out and using it. This is a Remington Model 11, and I believe it reaches back to 1948. It was a 48 or 49. It's based off the Browning Model uh, A5, I believe. The cool thing about it is the barrel retracts all the way into the, the chamber right here when you shoot and that's how how it cycles they call this the power power pack uh, muzzle brake and then there's a choke in here which is a medium choke shooting birds with antique shotguns really fun you know it's like stepping back into the past my dad had one extremely similar I think it was a few years newer so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna clean these birds and then me and Steph are actually going to do a cook-off against each other that is gonna be on the family channel which is linked down below. She's at the store right now getting some ingredients and uh, we're gonna clean these doves up. I haven't cleaned a dove in a while but it's pretty simple if you've never done it. Basically just pull these feathers off of the breast here and then there's a little crease you can feel it with your thumb. You stick your thumb through that and then pull up and that reveals the breast of the bird and then you just snap the wings off and you're pretty much good to go. What is that saying where it's like a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush? What does that even mean? But I feel like that happened today. Birds were lost in the bush, but I've got a bird in my hand. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm, not, I'm still not really sure on that guy. Pluck that off there, you see that? Nice little breast. So I'm just gonna take my thumb, push down in there, break that skin, a very, very skinny skin, thin skin. And you pull up. It's actually really easy to pull all that skin off too. Pull up, you've got the uh, all the entrails and everything. Ooh, I can actually see what that bird has been eating. So that's what this bird has been eating. Looks like uh, sorghum seeds. There's a little bit of those small sunflower seeds. So they were just feasting up. Nice organic meat. Wow, these sorghum seeds are falling out everywhere. Ready for the feast. Wow, this thing was full of uh, sunflowers and sorghum. A bunch of it right there. It was like a fresh feeder. Just ate. Jeez, that guy was just full of seeds. So to complete the, uh, the pull method, I guess you could say, you just put your finger in that pocket right there and you pull the two halves apart. If you want to make your life really easy, you can just take, your, take uh, like a pair of scissors, kitchen snips, Snip those bones right there. There's one. This is a white wing dove right here. A little bit bigger, a little bit slower moving, you know, for old dad. <laughs> <laughs> now dad beat me today. You had five, you had five that you found. Yeah. So you probably had like six or seven. I think you had two that you didn't find. I had five birds, so. We came close to getting a one-man limit between the two of us. Again, y'all, stick your thumb in there. Just get on in there. Rip upward. And then take your index finger. Go through the, the top there, top of the breast. Pull up. Then you can just pull the, pull the head and all those little seeds are going to come out. And then you're basically just left with a little angel flying with delicious, delicious, delicious meat right there. I love to wrap them in bacon. Bacon, jalapeno, cream cheese, oh my gosh. Cooper's light. And then we can just take our, uh, take our little knife right here and get this bone. Just right there, just kind of feel that. Just pull him off, he's already broken. Sometimes you can just pull them, like break them. The morning doves are easier. There we go. You've just got the skin and that's what holds all the feathers. And if you're really careful, with your hands, you can 
sometimes peel them off feather free. There's your finished dove breast. Peels right apart when you cook it. Delicious protein. They're just good. They're great. The only good thing about not shooting a limit is you really don't have to clean that many birds. Another tip just to make your life easier, if you keep a bucket of water close by, you dunk it down and the feathers come off, they float to the top and then you come out with a, a clean breast. Opening morning is complete, y'all. I'm not gonna hunt this afternoon. I'm going to basically pack up the truck and head out elk hunting. I was hoping to get enough to actually take some up there with me, but I think we're just gonna eat them all this afternoon. Me and Seth are gonna be doing a cook-off. Her recipe versus mine, who's gonna be better? Uh, we'll see, that's gonna be on the Lake Life Fam Family Channel linked down below. The old, uh, the old Model 11, I need to spruce it up a little bit. Definitely needs to be tuned for those particular shells, but it did really good, y'all. I just get a lot of enjoyment out of hunting with these old guns, especially with my dad. He got this for me as, as a gift, so it's just really something cool to do as a father and son, and we really enjoy it. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, of course you do, for all the elk action that's gonna be happening. I should just say just mountainous outdoor action. Tons of activities coming down the pipe up in Colorado, so I'm literally leaving for that. So subscribe right here so you don't miss any of the outdoor action. And I love you guys. I'll see you right back here on the next one. Also, smash the like button for just father-son activities. I know a lot of you guys comment about that. You like seeing it, but just go ahead and let me know with that big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.